wealthy man was ordered by his physician to go away to the mountains for a rest. He went home, told his members of his family of what the doctor had said. He says, while I'm away, I don't wish to be annoyed by letters or telegrams. In fact, I don't want to receive any news of any kind. So he went away, was gone about six weeks. Returned to the city very much improved in health and very anxious for some news from home. Got off of the train at the depot, was met by his colored servant, and the following conversation ensued. He said, well, Henry, how is everything at home? Is there any news? There's no, sir. There ain't no news, sir. Everything is just about the same as when you all went away. Nothing happened? No, sir. There ain't, there ain't nothing happened. There ain't no news. Well, he says, you know, I'm just dying for some word from home now. You can tell me any little thing, no matter how trifling. No, sir. There ain't no news. There ain't nothing to tell you, sir. Except, uh, there's just one little thing. Since you've been away, your dog died. Oh, he says, my dog died, eh? Well, that's too bad. What killed the dog? Well, sir, the dog eats some uh, burnt horse flesh. And that's what killed the dog. He eats burnt horse flesh. Where did he get burnt horse flesh to eat? Well, sir, you know your barn burned down. And after the fire had cooled off, the dog went and eat some of the burnt horse flesh, and that's what killed the dog. Oh, he says, my barn burned down, eh? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, indeed, the, the barn, that's all burned down. But says, how did the barn catch fire? Well, see, you see the spark from the house flew over, caught onto the barn, burned the barn down, burned up all the cows and the horses, and after the fire had cooled off, the dog went and eat some of the burnt horse flesh, and that's what killed the dog. Oh, he says, then my house burned down, too, eh? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, indeed. The, the house, that's, uh, that's completely destroyed. He says, well, how did the house catch fire? Well, sir, they, they had some candles burning in the house, and one of the candles caught under the curtain, and the curtain caught onto the roof, and the spark flew over and caught onto the barn and burned the barn down, burned up all the cows and the horses, and after the fire had cooled off, the dog went and eat some of the burnt horse flesh, and that's what killed the dog. He says, they had candles burning in the house where I have gas and electricity. I never knew there was a candle in the place. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. They, they had the candles there. They, they had the candles burning all around the coffin. The coffin? Who's dead? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's, uh, that's another little thing I forgot to tell you about. Since you've been away, your mother-in-law died. Oh, my mother-in-law died, eh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She's dead, all right. Uh, you needn't worry about that. Well, it says, what killed my mother-in-law? Well, sir, I don't know exactly what killed her, sir. But around the neighborhood, they say it was from the shock of your wife running away with the chauffeur. But outside of that, sir, why, there ain't no news. <laughs>